quick. Hide there. They don't look too happy. Back off. Obviously, our friend here has more balls than good sense. Just take a breath. <laughs> Why have you stayed in Havington? We couldn't leave. May's father was injured and couldn't move. I just couldn't bring myself to leave him here to die on his own. After he died, we just never had the means to get out. When did people start leaving the city? It's that ash cloud which really took its toll on the people here. The people could do nothing but step on each other to get on crowded boats, or risk burying themselves alive in shelters. How about you? Take it from your questions, you haven't been here long. Why are I lived here before with my wife and daughter. We weren't together when the event happened. I was on the East Coast. I got injured. And it took me all this time to recover and walk back. I arrived this morning and uh, found their home empty. You walked back? Dedicated man. By the way, I helped Henry get the radio transmitter. Really? It's fantastic. It's a good friend of yours, Jason. You know, Henry used to work in Haventon's fire department before he lost the use of his legs. He was overseeing the department's dispatch and communication systems. He knows quite a bit about how people were dispatched around after the event. But you know, we hear all sorts of things about the remaining survivor camps and shelters. We're trying to leave Haventon altogether. His place is pretty well protected against quakes and dusts. So we hid there until we could find a way out. Maybe he could help you get some useful information about... Thanks. That would be really helpful.